Redshift is defined as the increasing wavelength from light emitted by an object which is moving away from us. The faster that object is moving away from us, the greater the change in the wavelength is. So I can sum this up on a little diagram here. The top is the top of this diagram shows a stationary object and two observers, and they both see the exact same wavelength of light. The object isn't moving, so it emits waves, and they stay the same distance apart as they travel through space to the observers. However, with the second one, the one below that, the moving object, you can see it is moving towards the left. And that means that every time it emits a wave, it's a bit closer to the previous wave that it emitted. So that actually is a observed shorter wavelength. If an object was coming towards us, we would see a blue shift. We would see the light visibly shift to the higher frequency, lower wavelength end of the spectrum, the blue end. Now observer B is the key one for this topic because that is when you're looking at something which is emitting light, a source of waves, which is moving away from us. So it's moving away from us and therefore it's getting further away from each wave that it emits. And that is why we see this perceived increase in wavelength. Or for electromagnetic radiation, that would be a shift towards the longer wavelength, the red end of the spectrum, redshift. So Hubble analysed the spectrums, the emissions of all of these distant galaxies that he could see, and he compared their wavelength to stationary reference sources. So you might often see it as a diagram like this. So we're actually looking at two emission spectrums here. Now these are emission spectrums from the same element, and you do need to combine this with ideas from your atomic structure, where you talk about how light comes in and out of atoms. But what Hubble saw was he had the same pattern of emission lines, but the source that was moving away from him, the galaxies that he was looking at in space, showed the same pattern shifted towards the higher wavelength end. And when he looked at galaxies, he noticed that almost all of them were moving away from us. Almost all of the light from those distant galaxies was redshifted. And he actually went further than that. He found that the further away the galaxy was from us, the greater its speed was. So the faster an object is going away from us, the more that redshift is seen. He noticed, in fact, that they were proportional, that the distance was proportional to the speed of the galaxy moving away from us. So from that, he could conclude that the universe must be expanding. And that is some evidence for the Big Bang Theory. This is a model that explains this redshift data. Remember, our models explain the evidence that we have. And if we don't have good enough evidence, then we change our model. Or if we have evidence that contradicts a model, we change that model. And this led to the Big Bang Theory, which is that the universe must have started from a small, hot, dense region, a singularity, which has been expanding ever since. From about 1998, we've been taking measurements from supernovae, and that actually is suggesting that that rate of expansion is increasing. And we have one possible explanation for this, and this is the idea there might be dark matter and dark energy in the universe. Some mass and energy which doesn't seem to interact with ordinary light. At the moment, very little is understood about dark matter, but that is somewhere that physics will be exploring in the next decades. Remember to come back to the big idea in this topic, which is that models explain evidence. When we have evidence, we change our models. So for example, the Big Bang Theory is a very convincing theory because we have several bits of evidence that support it. Not just do we have the redshift data, but we also have the cosmic microwave background radiation, the CMBR, and that is extra evidence which supports the Big Bang Theory. It's known as the smoking gun. It's the radiation left over after that initial rapid expansion, the Big Bang.